Hello and welcome to this new video and today I will show you how to make an uh, equal rectangular image in Blender. So you can make your own lighting setup in Blender with some lights and maybe some backgrounds and use that in your other scenes for the lighting. You see I prepared a little scene here, a uh, sphere with a glossy shader and a HDR eye image or HDR image in the background and I can rotate and it looks like this is an actual 3D scene but when we go into the wire or in the just normal solid view the see here's just the sphere and how I made that I show you now uh, I prepared a little scene here with a plane and a particle system with cones, spheres, torsos, um, susans uh, on it and also a camera. So a really simple and easy setup and this would be your setup where you have your lights and so. Um, and if we would render that now, it would be a normal image at a, res at a resolution of uh, 1280 by 720. So nothing we could use for our lighting setup. But you just have to change one or two things. And this is to go into the camera tab here by selecting the camera and in the property window go here to the camera settings and change the camera to panoramic and then here to equal rectangular so just this you can also test the fish eye and so but in this case we need equal rectangular and we could render that now already but i want to set up um, a bigger resolution so we get more details and most of the equal rectangular images have a resolution from or two by one. So in this case, 4000 by 2000. But you could also use 8000 by 1000 or just 800 by 400. But try to keep the try to keep the resolution at about two by one. And now we can render that. I will set that a little bit down and now press F12 and actually I forgot to change my background because I showed you the um, HDR light setup at the beginning but the background for this image is another one and I forgot to change that. So this render us now really quick and then I will be back. So now I'm back and you see it finished rendering and maybe you think now well what happened here? Um uh you wanna have that because this is how it maps um the equa rectangular image kind of because this captures the full three hundred sixty degrees around your camera. And this is just distorted like this, so it um, looks right when you map that later to a sphere. So now you want to save that with F3. Simply press it and select Radiance HDR here, High Dynamic Range, and save that. I save it now to my desktop because I made that already. And yeah, here you see your little scene. And now you can you now you can go into a new file. Uh reload startup file. Delete the cube, the camera. You don't have to delete them, but I do it now really quick and that is fear. Move and 
now we can go to the work properties say use notes environment texture open your rendered image and go to settings and multi important sampling or sample and I can press shift C maybe give the sphere another material so uh, Gaussian PSDF and to see we have our 360 degree lighting setup and this is really useful because now you can change the strength and emits or it emits really much light here because it's an HDR image high dynamic range uh, that captures just some more lighting information and now you have your own lighting setup and you can use that to make your own uh, setups and now I'll repeat myself and you can make hundreds of them and when you make a uh, car render for example you can just use your default um, setup for that yeah I hope this helped you and hopefully you hear the uh, better sound quality now because I have a new microphone and also I do now a little bit of audio um, readjustment and yeah and if you liked that video give me a thumb up or maybe even subscribe to my youtube channel to see more videos uh, share it maybe with some one other who uses blender and yeah, I hope I see you in my next video. Hopefully this comes soon and then I will say happy blending and bye.